After disappointing rookie campaigns, Las Vegas Raiders receivers Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards appear to be ready to do some damage. We obviously haven't seen them in preseason action, but all training camp reports on both of them have been positive. And they made plenty of noise in their super competitive joint practice with the Los Angeles Rams. So most of the talk has been about how they've been coming along. Then of course, there's tight end Darren Waller, the best player on the team and number 35 on the NFL Top 100 list. And no one is talking about Hunter Renfro. Renfro made a few big plays on store corner Jalen Ramsey in those joint practices, but Ramsey denied it, and the rest of the NFL seems to be denying it right along with them. It was just practice, but the NFL was talking when DeAndre Hopkins dang near blew out DeAngelo Hall's knee in one-on-one -on -one drills in joint practices. The NFL usually sleeps on Renfro anyway. Will he make teams pay for it this year? At the beginning of his rookie season, Renfro had some problems. He couldn't get open running routes the way head coach John Gruden wanted him to run those routes. Between that and some miscommunications between him and quarterback Derek Carr, it wasn't very smooth. Another problem Renfro had was the small size. He couldn't take a big hit after the catch. It would leave him injured. He missed three big games when the Raiders were trying to make a stretch run his rookie year. Then he played in all 16 last year, but that's still something to keep an eye on. Even though the very beginning of his rookie season wasn't always pretty, he still showed the ability to get open and convert on third down. And as the season went along, Rudin told him to go ahead and run the routes his way. Just be where you're supposed to be on time. And it was at that time that Renfro became consistent. Watch this route. Renfro's a problem in man coverage. That's why he's the slot machine and third and short is third and Renfro. Here he goes again in man coverage. And that's gonna be a nice catch. Renfro is also a problem in zone coverage as he sits down in the hole. Sits down in the hole nicely here to keep from getting blasted. Renfro also makes the extra effort to keep running to uncover when his quarterback's in trouble. Here he is again. He's just going to stay with it until a car eventually finds him. Picks up that first down after the catch, too. Now here he is in the clutch. He's going to keep working and his reward's going to be the game-winning touchdown catch. Being a return man in college, Renfro also showed his ability to run after the catch. Carr throws it to him well in front of the chain here and he gets the rest of it on his own. Here's another one where they depend on Renfro's run after the catch ability to get the first down. Oh. Watch the burst on this one. And don't get it twisted. If you miss the tackle, he will take it to the house. It's funny how guys think they're going to catch him, but they don't catch him. He's hit the gun at over 20 miles per hour. 
Now we're in year two and he's still doing his thing on third down. He beats man coverage. And he still sits down in the hole in the zone. He's always right where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there to make the play. On this one, Tyron Matthew was swearing to God he was going to stay with Renfro. Here he is on a pivot route and he pulls up on the zone. Getting this first down was easy work against the zone. Here, Renfro's going to stick this pivot route and show he can still go with it after the catch. Here's another first down on the catch way behind the line to gain. And another one here. Why not keep getting into him when he can run after the catch like that? With the punt return background he has, the first man is almost guaranteed to miss the tackle. Oh! At the tail end of his rookie season, Carr started trusting him with deep routes. He'll go up and get it. So in year two, Carr started trusting him even more with them. You have guys like Waller and Ruggs on the field, you can sneak a guy like Renfro D. Watch him go up and get this one to the left of your screen. And in the first game against the LA Chargers last year, he gave Casey Hayward that word. With the league sleeping on them the way they are, will we see more of that in 2021? Starting out, third and three to six was third and Renfro. And when Carr is in trouble, he'll uncover for him in the scramble drill. Then he started to add a little something extra to third and Renfro. He started taking those short passes long distances to the house. He's just a little faster than people think. And he showed last year that he can use that speed to beat you deep. But the NFL is sleeping on him and it's time to make them pay. Can he? Thank you for watching. See you next time.